Good morning, bunnies. Good morning. Get up, get up, ready. You yes, you're all good bunnies. Good bunnies. Today's episode is a rabbit update. It's gonna be all over the place with uh, still pictures and some video of uh, mostly of these rabbits as they've uh, grown up. So the way things have worked out here on our homestead, I'm taking mostly care of the chickens and Wendy's been taking most of the care of the rabbits. Uh, Wendy isn't real excited about being on YouTube these days, which is too bad because she really has done all the research, um, knows what she's talking about. But uh, but that's okay. We'll uh, we'll work around that. I've got her in a few shots uh, with the rabbits, and uh, um, maybe that'll change in the future. Maybe she'll want to be back uh, part of doing this. I really did like the idea of uh, us doing these YouTube episodes together, something that we could uh, we could share, and I'm I'm hoping that uh, she changes her mind down the road about uh, participating. The rabbits um, kind of all have their own little personality and quirks about how they're being taken care of, and uh, uh, Wendy's kind of figured that all out uh, as she's as. As she's gone along. This is Daisy. She's our New Zealand bunny. She's one of our, she's gonna be our first breeding bunny. She's a little shy still. She's kind of skittish. But she did let me pick her up pretty nice, didn't she? And she, she's sweet. She's very sweet. She's just a little shy, but she likes eating out of your hand, and she likes little nose scratches, mostly. And she likes to have her ears rubbed. She's a little hot, <laughs> so it's warm out today. But I wanted to try picking her up, and I thought I would need to have um, a long sleeve shirt on, but she was good, she's a good girl. She's very sweet. I think she just hasn't been handled very much so we need to handle her as much as we can to get her used to us and feel safe and comfortable because she's going to be with us for a while because she's our, our little rabbit maker. <laughs> our first rabbit maker. Right, baby? But she's pretty chill. I mean, she's not freaking out or anything. She's a little warm, I think, because she was panting, but... It's pretty warm right now, and she's got a full white coat. Um, this is our first experience with raising rabbits for meat. Um, I was around rabbits a bit when I was a kid, but and learned some things like how to dress a rabbit and things like that. But it was a really long time ago, so it'd be interesting to see how we do. I'm, I'm hopeful though because rabbits are pretty easy to deal with and she's so quiet low maintenance so it's nice to have a pet that I can kind of hug and snuggle on to so she's a good girl we love her hi Daisy are you ready for your breakfast are you ready <laughs> she's ready for breakfast so, I keep this scoop over here with Daisy, or at least I try to. So there's this blue scoop. So I try and fill this up for her. And I give her this much twice a day. And sometimes, right now, because she just had babies, I'm checking in the afternoon as well to make sure she still has a little food. And if she doesn't, then I top her off some. Because she's really hungry right now. Usually 
with her. I like to let her have a little first because she doesn't like objects going into her cage <laughs> without her permission. <laughs> she has to investigate them first. And then she will permit this. If you just stick it in there, she's going to swat at it and it's going to go all over the place. So, she's a good girl. She's protecting her baby. Good mom. And during the day, I keep this a little bit loose, but at night, I like to make it go down an extra. And then for George, I actually give him a little bit less. The lamp of the pellets. And he's already, look. <laughs> look at him. He's so cute. You want your pellets? You want these pellets? Yes. Pellets. Give me. And George likes to chew on... He likes to chew on the on the plastics. <laughs> okay, get that, buddy. But he doesn't care if I just stick it in there. And so, say good morning to him. And I am trying to give, especially George and Clifford, a little bit of of pat when I open their cage and stuff, because trying to get them used to being touched a lot during the day. With, with our two new bunnies, right now, I am checking to see how much they're eating of their pellets. And he hasn't eaten very much right now, so he's still got pellets from yesterday. And so this is the pellets from the breeder. And since he's still got some, he may not be eating our pellets, and so I'm just giving a little bit of hers in with it, the ones we gave her, and just leaving it and mixing it in. So I mix it in pretty good too. Um, I will say good morning to him too. Hi, baby. Nice new pet. Yeah. He's a good boy. <laughs> You're a good boy. You just look like the Cadbury bunny. <laughs> we have our little marigold. And she hasn't really been doing very much with her pellet. So I'm just going in here and you know, stirring these around. But hopefully by next week, these guys will both be eating and you can just put a scoop like I give Daisy in there and just dress it with a little of the pellets from, from the breeder. And same thing as Daisy's cage. I'm kind of just loosely making sure that it's secured during the day and then I really tighten it up good at night. See it's not open enough that she could get out but what about the hay? So that's what I'm gonna do next. Well after I check their water so I make sure that they've all got water and then it's cold and if it's below half then I take it down and I dump it and I refill it. So she has water still. His is getting a little low, so I'll probably take that one in and dump it. Um, and then George has pretty much full one, and Daisy has a pretty much full one from last night. So, but usually it, once it's they, depending on how fast they're drinking it, I will check it. And if I know it's been up there for a few days, I'll dump it anyways and clean it out and I will 
take it inside and replace it with a fresh bottle and I run the nipples through the dishwasher so then I'm gonna make sure especially at night because it's easy to forget at night which is the worst time put the lid back on the pellets nice and tight and then Daisy and Marigold get a little bit of these so these are sunflower seeds and some oats and I just give them about that much Got it? And I'm just kind of mixing it in there. It's harder to mix it in with daisies because she's she's so and I'm trying to eat those as fast as you put them in there. <laughs> And if you feel like it, you could give George and, and, and Clifford a little, just like a couple of them as a treat. And if you can get him to, try and get George to eat it out of your hand. Or Clifford to eat it out of your hand. George will definitely eat it out of your hand. Clifford's still a little shy though. All the bunnies get as much hay as they want to eat. And so I just always make sure they have some. Daisy eats quite a lot of it. And with her, I just stuff it in her the little hay rack and she pulls it out. George. George likes the hay, but he doesn't like it in his hay rack. So I put his hay and just kind of bunch it up a bit. And then I put it on his little block. And he likes eating it off of the block. And with these two, I'm kind of leaving it a little loose so that they get used to having having it there. She's watching the birds. <laughs> it's funny. And then... The other thing I do is I'll go get some parsley and I'll give them some parsley, just like a, a little handful each. So, and I give a little bit more to Daisy right now. Raising these six uh, baby bunnies has been very enjoyable. Um, they're the first animals ever born on our homestead, so it's been very exciting. Uh, I highly recommend uh, if you're interested in rabbits they seem to be pretty easy to take care of 
um, and uh, and they're it's just very rewarding. Uh, anybody who's been homesteading for quite a while can probably remember back when everything was new and it, it was their first getting started. Uh, I'm probably uh, I'm probably going to be looking back at these YouTube videos just to see what it was like for me when I was uh, uh, just getting started and and uh, learning what it was all about. Um, yeah, anyway, this is, uh, this is just a, a little update on uh, how the rabbits uh, uh, grew up and, uh, and uh, hope you enjoy it.
last night about three in the morning, uh, Clifford here knocked his cage off the pedestal. Clifford's our biggest and probably our most skittish rabbit, and uh, something must have scared him. He uh, was able to jump against the side enough to actually knock the cage right on off. So now I've gone ahead and uh, bungee corded it right to the uh, pedestal. It shouldn't be a problem. I'm actually kind of glad that it happened when it did. We're about uh, a week and a half away from Thanksgiving and Wendy and I are going to be going out to my mom's for a few days. My dad will be coming out to take care of the rabbits and the chickens and uh, I wouldn't want him to deal with uh, a cage that had fallen off the pedestal, uh, you know, knocking the door loose and the rabbit gets out, that kind of thing. So, uh, this would be a, a good, way to, good way to take care of this problem, I think. Raising rabbits hasn't been all, you know, joy and happiness. There have been some disappointments. Um, Sleepy Creek Farm, the place we bought our red New Zealand rabbits, um, offered to go ahead and breed Marigold, our female rabbit, the day before we, we bought her. And uh, when it came time for her to, to give birth, she was uh, a little late with, uh, with that process. And um, it turned out she only had one baby and it was born dead um so kind of sad um but it's uh it's it's real it's what happens um when you're raising animals um, um it's to be expected so yeah you take the good with the bad <laughs> 